So, how would you uh, kind of describe what you'd like to work on? Well, uh, I retired about a year ago from dentistry. Uh, and after retirement, found some things to do. And one of the things that I elected to do was to uh, go back to school. And, and I'm in the process of getting a master's degree in pastoral studies from the University of Loyola in New Orleans. And it's been kind of interesting uh, for me uh, being a six, going back to school and having expectations of reading and discussion and writing papers. And what I found is very interesting is that it's kind of like what you described as a six. As I got into the course study, that uh, I really regressed back to high school, mm -hmm. grade school. I mean, I'm sitting there. And as I, as I began to read and I began to look at the coursework, I, I, all of a sudden I'm 15 again, mm -hmm. you know. And it's a very uncomfortable feeling because with 15 was not a particularly fun time in my life. Right. And it's because of the, uh, oh, basically the messages that I was getting from at that point in my life and at the time, I really wasn't getting any, any affirmation or much support from anybody. And, and so I'm finding I'm in this course and I really like the course, but boy, when I get back to being a 15-year-old again, I, I, I'm stuck. I mean, it's yeah. not a very comfortable place to be. Yeah, and not very resourceful place not either. Huh? Like, you really like get kind of stuck. Most of your intelligence and uh, skill and ability and all the things that you've mastered since then uh, are, wouldn't be there it's back, with, back <laughs> at right. the age of 15. <laughs> <laughs> and there's pu puberty and all the other things. Well, um, and so... What about this reaction? Mm -hmm. Is there something about it you'd like to change, or what? what well, what, yeah, what do you I'd like to. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to get beyond it. I'd like to get beyond the the fear of of. Uh, I think it's a fear of not, you know, academically not being able to achieve, you know, not not doing well. Uh, that's well, you know, we were talking earlier about self-opposition in terms of, and sometimes um, one of the things that happens within six-ishness is you take a look at a situation, something in you prejudges it, and so this is going to be too hard, I won't be able to pull it off, I'm not equipped for this, or sure. something or the other. And then it's like that's the point at which your power gets sort of projected, Sort of taken out of your your belly and painted across the the the, the landscape in front of you, and you know um, splashed onto the faces of authority figures, you know, and then you hear hear things coming out of their mouths. You hear it, you know, you hear it in your own mind and sure. stuff like that. Uh -huh. And then there's also um, and and the result is almost like um, I'll, I'll oppose myself before I really put my heart and soul into this thing and find out that I can't do it. Better to, you know, cut it, uh, cut my losses in a way, you know, and kind of in a subjective sort of way start to de defeat myself now rather than try really hard and really lay it on the line and, and face eventual defeat anyway.